Travel, budget, cars. Welcome to the life of PK. What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. I hope you liked the previous couple of videos of the BMW and finally I get to make another upgrade. And actually this is should be considered as a first upgrade because installing the camera, I wouldn't say that's an upgrade. And the reason why I want to go with this upgrade, it's really simple, but it's going to enhance the car by so much more, is because when I purchased the car myself, there was no option to get the shadow line package. Because of the part shortage, the chips, whatever, you could not get the shadow line package, the full shadow line package. So the car still came with the, uh, with like the M cap, mirror caps, but you couldn't get the black here. So you see, you got the chrome, the car's a little bit dirty. There's a little spider, hello friend. Um, and then this came with the chrome as well and i'm not a big fan of this uh, so i decided to branch out and kind of transform the car to almost the shallow line package by getting the black grill and that's the main reason why i opted out to get the black grill is because it just looks a bit odd to me you can see the black mirror caps back there and then you see the chrome here so it doesn't to me it doesn't sit right it doesn't look aggressive and it just doesn't look right to me so let me show you what i got here you go guys i already opened the box just to make sure the part is okay and by this shipping uh, let me tell you it's phenomenal how how good and secure the box was uh, i got this uh, i got the black group from uh ind distribution uh, i know they're a little bit pricey or on the pricey side but i wanted to get something that's mostly oem and i believe i'll show you how i you can find out but i believe the actual group comes from the factory. Uh, I could have gotten it maybe from another place for a couple of dollars cheaper, maybe like 10, 20 bucks cheaper because they do have some nice things on their website. I just wanted to give them a try. So let's open the box here. Here's basically what it looked like. This was actually packaged underneath. Underneath these, uh, these paper thingies. Uh, it was kind of like in between to provide some protection. And here's the second box. This is where the actual grill is. So we can open it up. And you can see it comes in a nice bubble wrap and then it comes in this like cloth or this cover or this bag for the grill and you can see here is the grill it looks phenomenal uh one thing to keep in mind this one it looks it might look a little bit shinier because i actually opted for them to uh ceramic coat it uh which to just to protect it a little bit and also make it stand out that much more uh especially when it rains it's going to keep it clean as well and here's the grill in its glory uh again i opted out for the m badge because i have the m badge as well i wanted to keep it as stock as possible and there were a couple other options there was a, a one that had like a single slab uh, i like that one but it didn't have the m badge so i opted out of that and there's there's one like a mesh look like and it, to me it looks really good but for some reason i wanted to keep it as close as possible to the oem which you can see this one has the two slats as well and also one thing to notice is there's a hole here this is because i have the uh i believe it's the park assist package so you get a front camera and you can see I have a front camera. I haven't really seen online how to actually disconnect the front camera. I've seen on the base X3s how to remove the grill and put it on. It seems very simple. So this is gonna have a little bit of extra step is disconnecting and plugging back the camera in. I believe it should be an okay fit, but let's find out. And let's get started with the installation. The first thing you have to do, I mean, I know it's very simple, but let me tell you guys, the first thing you have to do is pop this once. What this does is, is it opens your hood, but not fully, so you have to pop it twice and then you can open your hood so let's go over what we actually have to do there are these clips over here 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 what you can do is you can pop them you can pry them uh and one way to do it is put a tool you can do a butter knife you can do a plastic removal tool a screwdriver be very careful not to scratch something put it in here and then swing or swing towards you or if you want to say push backwards and this should pop all the clips once the stop clips are removed this should just slide out, it should come out. So let's see how it is. Again, I have to watch out for the camera here. I have this handy dandy tool that actually came out from uh, the manufacturer of the camera that I installed in this car. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, go through the channel, it's there. So this is gonna be very helpful. This Florida sun is brutal. I'm sweating already, but let me show you what I did is actually, you can use this tool and you can see I, I use this edge of the tool. And all you have to do is push on the clips and they pop out loose it's very easy this is almost loose on this side so here let me show you you do this you pop out and then you pull the, on the grill uh, it's a little bit more difficult for me to do it with 
uh, you know, one hand because I hold the camera without one. Hopefully you can see well, it's this clip. All you have to do is push it down and this pop out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera down for a little bit and gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, it already came out, it's, it's loose. And again, here are the clips, and all we have to do is press down with something on them. They're really easy. The two hardest clip is this corner, and this corner, I believe they have the most tension. So you have to really press hard. You can see it damaged the tool a little bit. The final step for me is to disconnect the camera over here. So let me, let me work on that, uh, and I'll get back with you guys once I figure out how to disconnect that. Ooh wee, I'm sweating. So here's the final result. One top tip is these two middle clips were a little bit more difficult to come out like the top here. And what I had to do is use both my hands here and here and just pull a little bit like wiggle and pull. So this whole thing pops out and you can see here is the camera and the clip where it's connected. So let me disconnect that. Let me show you what it looks like here. There's this little clip, you have to be very careful. It has, I think it's eight prongs. Uh, all you have to do is you can squeeze on it or on the side and it will come loose. And here's the camera. I believe what I have to do is somehow finagle these. There's like one, two, three prongs that hold the camera into place. I'll have to finagle that somehow. All right, I'm hiding from the sun while it's really hot. This little wall over here is helping, uh, helping with that, providing some shade. But let me sh see if you, how well the camera shows it. This is the clip. And again, I have to prop this open and this open, and I believe this will make it possible for the camera itself to come out. So let me mess with that. Well, this took a minute, but this shade is very welcomed. So that minute was good. Uh, it's not very difficult to do. You just have to be very firm with the camera and not be afraid to break it. Again, you have to be careful, but be also firm at the same time. Again, it's these clips. And what helped me the most is for me to put my finger here and just lift on the camera little by little and kind of like uh, move, move these clips one by one, lift it, kind of like wiggle it back and forth. And it actually worked. Let me finish removing it. I do like the idea of this tape that I've added here, so I'm going to do the same thing so it doesn't scratch the component. There you go. This is the camera. And actually remove this part. You don't have to remove this part. I'll put it back in. There you go. That part's back. You don't need to touch that part. Here are the three clips that cause the most issues. I'm actually going to transfer this uh, tape or whatever they that have it like a sticky, sticky tape on the other grill, and I'll be right back. Talk about BMW attention to detail though. You can see me putting the plastic back on the, the black grill. Uh, they, they did that so it doesn't really scratch the sides of this module, the camera module. That's pretty nice attention to detail if you ask me. Also, as I mentioned, this is an original BMW part. Even though it comes from IND, it's original BMW part. I believe this is the shadow line part itself. Uh, you can see when it was made, I believe. So I don't know why shadow line was stopped short because this was made in December, I believe. Unless this is the European standard of the dates. Uh, you have a little skew here. So this is a, an OEM shadow line grill package, which makes me really excited. Even though the car didn't come with shadow line, I can have that now. Let me work on putting the camera back here and then we can work on assembling the rest of the car and voila here it is again this only can go one way because you need to plug in your uh, your wire here so you can't put the camera in a different way to uh, have it upside down so you don't have to worry about that because this is the indicator where it goes it looks just like factory from the stock so now let's do the most easiest part of that and 
that is putting this piece there somehow. I hope it's the most easiest, but I have to go out in the sun. Wish me luck. And there you guys go. Just as simple as that. Just a couple of clips. I would say the most difficult step is figuring out and messing with the camera. So if you don't have an LCI with a park assist uh, feature, it's gonna be super easy for you to change the group. Maybe five minutes. This takes a little bit longer. Now that I know how to do it, maybe 10. So double the time if you don't have the park assist. But this looks beautiful. I'm gonna have to clean the group a little bit because it has my oily hands all over it. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this stuff up here organize everything and I'll get back to you in the video to finish up Here it is again. Just to let you know. I got this group from IND. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them I'm not working with them. That's I purchased this full price. Uh, I just wanted to see what their service is like which is Good service, but this is what it looks like <laughs> really happy with the end result I think the car looks that much better without it being done and in the books now I hope you guys enjoy how the car the new look of the car so far how it looks I'm loving it if you guys learned something from this video or enjoyed this video smash the like button that helps me and if you guys actually are new to the channel just visiting want to see more content of this more traveling content is also coming and also some budgeting is coming how do how do how are we gonna travel on a budget PNK how are they gonna deal with budget traveling so we'll see about that uh, but again if you're new to the channel just visiting, please subscribe. That means a lot as well. I'll catch you guys later.